everybody. Today we're going to be unboxing Colite's 8 gang switch panel. I bought this in order to take care of a rat's nest under the hood. So let's see what we got here. Stickers. Gotta have the stickers. Instruction manual. Pretty straightforward. Sorting of decals for your switch panel. Aha. Uh -huh. A switch panel. Fuse bar, bus bar. There's your connectors. Extra fuses. A 60 amp resettable breaker. Of course, the switch panel itself. Small. Should be able to fit somewhere inside there. An assortment of screws and a um, Allen wrench. Mounting bracket. A um, insulated cable. Power cords. More insulated cable. It's got a nice braided sheath on it. Bunch of tie wraps. Another bracket for mounting. More tie racks. Another mounting bracket. And yet another mounting bracket. This is going to be my project for today, is installing this. I'm not going to bore you with me trying to figure out what's going on, I'm trying to figure out mounting places. Um, but I will show you the mess that I have under here now and um, show you the mounting locations that I have chosen and some of the installation of it. So you can see just hopefully how easy this is to do. We'll be right back with you. Okay, here lies the problem. I've got this rat's nest of wiring harness for lights and everything. Got fuses, fuses, relays, relays. Got too many wires coming off of the battery terminals. It's just a mess over here. Come over to this side. Air compressor doesn't work anymore. Gonna yank this out of here and get it out of the way. I got this rat's nest over here, another relay. Um, thinking what I'm gonna do is put the resettable uh, breaker over there, put the fuels, fuse panel where this used to be. That way I, I can run these, these lights here, my lights up front, my other LED lights down here we got their headlights i love these headlights they got a great cutoff on them so no longer people flashing their lights at me and um just get rid of all this extra wiring in here that's just waiting to get burnt or catch on fire um i'm not going to bore you with me trying to figure out where to put the stuff and i'm not going to bore you with me having to cut out all this wiring harness and figure out what everything goes to but I will highlight the actual installation process where I figure out where things are going to go. Right outside, I'm web it roofing off my radio. I'm thinking about putting the switch panel right here beneath my radio. And um, we'll see what happens. Be back with you. Okay, here's where we stand so far. I've mounted the control panel underneath my ham radio. Wire is going to run down through the firewall. 
bolts can come out the firewall through a grommet across the hood. And here's where the chip, here's where things change. The power cord is not long enough to mount it where I want it to on that side where the air compressor was. So I have to find a place over here somewhere to mount the box. Now the breaker I mounted to the cover for the computer. I didn't want to drill holes. I didn't want to run screws through it and possibly damage any of the connectors inside of here. So with zip ties and then double sided sticky tape, I figure it'll hold it pretty securely. So I've got power done up to there. So now I gotta figure out where to mount the box. I think I can squeeze it up here if I have enough cable to run to it. Because that's another thing. Sometimes your best laid out plans don't go the way they're supposed to to you lay things out and realize wire's too short. I'll be back. Okay. Got the circuit breaker installed. I dug through my stuff on a heavier gauge wire so I could run it across to mount my control panel where I wanted it, which is down here in what looks like could be a secondary battery box. I temporarily have things wired up. I have only one light out of all of my lights hooked up so we can test it. So, let's go over here. Circuit breaker. On. No smoke. Good luck. Good news. Let's come around here. Everything is looking good. Let's go outside of the Jeep. Hey, we got a lit up panel. How about that? Moment of truth. Push. And there's one of my wheel lights lit up. It's the only thing I have connected right now to a 5 amp circuit. And test it out even further. Go ahead and blow that fuse like such. And things can disconnect it. Hang on a second. Technical difficulty. I have to power to this wire. Which is going to go to my accessory. But for right now it's going to sit. Don't breathe. Right there. Go back inside again. Yes, we still have lights. Power to that switch. Boom. Light is not on. And the lamp is lit, indicating blown fuse. All in all, not bad. Wire could have been a little. Wire could have been a little bit longer. I guess it all depends on your application and where you want to mount stuff. But it looks like it's going to be a decent system for me. I've got co lights. I've got co lights. I've got co-lights. I've got co-lights. So, and more co-lights. So, hope you enjoyed this. I hope they edited it out pretty good. I'm 97TJ West End. Follow me on Instagram.